Well, let's do the thing. Song. Do 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 uh, it's there once a month where we get together, we talk about what's going on with Gaggle, what's going on with Goose Goose Duck. Today I'm joined by Sean, and we're going to be going over what you guys can be expecting. Uh, if you haven't already, SPH Point Enter to enter for a giveaway. Uh, today we're going to be giving away a brand new cosmetic. Should I show it now? Should we show it now? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's show it now. Alright, let's we'll show it now. Alright. So the brand new, what you're entering for go away, SP Point Enter is a brand new Soapbox Derby cosmetic that will be added to the store at the end of the devlog. So SP Point Enter you can get for free. It comes with a lovely safety helmet because <laughs> we all know how Soapbox cars are. We cannot uh, guarantee the shape. There is no insurance on it. It is you made by hand. It's, it, is, it's, it comes as is off the lot. Brand new. And then throughout the devlog, if you have any questions, SPH point Q followed by the question, and we'll at the end of the stream, we'll try to get through as many as we possibly can. Just keep the questions logical. If it's a bug report or something that can be answered in, inside the Discord, be sure to join the Discord. Let us know there. SPH point GDD. You click on the link and go there. All right. So welcome, Sean. How are you? It's been a while since we had you on a devlog. Yeah, it's been a few months. I'm glad to be here again. Thanks to Dom for giving up his spot. Normally, I wouldn't take it from him. Uh, and, you know, Herbert's not been around either for a little while, but, uh, you know, we'll probably try and cycle people in and out. But I think uh, Dom does a better job than me. So I'm honored to be here. And if I don't screw it up, then we're all good. I'm not sure we're going to be just fine. We missed January. Uh, January has been very, was a little crazy for us, so we weren't able to have a devlog. But uh, I'm excited to get these back on regular schedule. Uh, to keep you guys informed uh, what's going on keep you guys in the loop because we all know you guys are excited to know what's going what's going to come next and should we just dive on into it let's go let's go we got to get it done fast all right gaggle update yeah. yeah you guys got games to play gaggle update what we've been up to uh so since uh the start of the year uh lots of things have been happening uh good things most on the on the most part is we've been growing up the team so we've been uh adding uh, new members to the team, so we've been adding to the art department, we've been adding to the development staff, and so what that what that means is we're going to be able to produce more, more faster. Uh, in January, uh, or sorry, in January, our Discord was officially verified. Uh, after months of applications, we were able to finally get verified, recognized by Discord as the official Goose Goose Duck server. So thank you guys so much for joining that. Uh, the engagement has been amazing. The community has continued to grow. We have 216,000 members inside the Discord. And we're, and we're going. We're, we're, in, we're at the races. Uh, the other big milestone we hit is our Steam. Our Steam numbers. Is we hit, we, in January, we hit a peak of 702,000 all time. We became the number eight most played game on steam ever uh recently we got bumped down to number nine by a very popular uh newer game which is a-okay yeah it's just okay top 10 is still pretty good <laughs> well, i was talking about the new game the popular game that bumped us just okay okay yeah it's just okay you may have heard of it uh and the rest of the updates is we've been working hard on new partnerships. We've been working with a lot of new people, getting a lot in the works. And I think the one that I'm excited about, I think a lot of other people will be excited about is Torquedo. So we partnered up with Torquedo. They are a uh, merchandise and apparel company, powerhouse even. Uh, so we're going to be, in the near future, we're going to be having toys. We'll have plushies. We'll have bedding. We'll have all sorts of household items. We are working very closely with them. We're excited to see what they come up with. They work. They move fast. So we're going to keep you guys updated as soon as things hit shelves. And anything else you want to touch on? Any other news in your back pocket? Uh, well, we also... Uh, I, do we want to talk about the next partnership? Is that on the next slide there? Uh, I have no more update slides. No. All right. Let me go here then. 
Wait a minute, there's more slides than this, isn't there not? There, there is, but that's, that's all I had for updates. Oh, okay, for updates. Yeah, there's. I don't want to go too much into the updates. I think you guys know what's going on. Uh, in terms of partnerships, we do have another one. Uh, we are partnering and working with TapTap Tap International. TapTap Tap is like a game service and community provider, and uh, you can actually go and check them out if you search TapTap. Tap and look for Goose Goose Duck. They uh, run content and co uh, contests. They're gonna be also a, a decent source for information. Um, obviously, we're gonna be the most preferred source. However, uh, you know, we're not always gonna have as much detail as some of those guys might have. They write articles. They're gonna have tons of content being produced. Uh, so keep an eye on there if you're interested. And that's it for partnerships and updates. Obviously, we've done quite a number of things. Uh, but we wanna talk about what's coming up, I think, in the future. I think this is, a little bit more, uh, you know, what's what's going on. Um, if we go to the next slide, uh, there is uh, there's definitely something we, we want to mention here, um, and that's uh, easy anti cheat. And some of you, if you've been playing recently, you would have noticed that the screen pops up, and before you go to play, the reason why we initialized this was to make sure that games are uh, cheat free and people are playing all in the same terms and everybody's being fair. Uh, we uh, we didn't want to have to go this route, but we're you know we're excited that we we're able to. Uh, it's a little bit of a technical challenge. Usually, anti cheats reserved for larger games, but we figured you know in a game where you're meeting strangers online, we wanted to make sure that the people you're playing with are not griefing your game or they're not uh, you know not, not ruining your experience. So this is something that we're proud. We're going to continue to make improvements on this, and it's going to keep getting uh, better and more stable. Um, there is uh, there are some technical hiccups. Not everybody's computer can run them. Uh, there is usually a, a reason. Sometimes it's people have other cheats installed, or sometimes people uh, have modified systems, or they're you know they're doing funny things with their machine. But uh, we're working through uh, all the technical issues, and you know we're pretty happy that most people, uh, mass majority of people, can still get on and and, and play. Uh, let's go to the next one. Claw machines. All right claw machines uh so as you know we've actually had two seasonal claw machines we had the new year's the lunar new year chinese new year claw machine um and we wanted to make sure that we you know we we had some feedback on it and we wanted to make it better and uh, one of the things that we absolutely uh, had to do was um we wanted to make sure that it was easier to get the amount of tokens that you needed specifically for that seasonal claw machine and this was really important for us because, you know, a lot of people were complaining that they didn't want to have to grind it out and they don't want to have to do that. So going forward, we're going to design it so that if you play normally, you should be able to unlock uh, enough tokens to get everything out of the machine. Uh, and, you know, you'll be able to pick up the other ones that you didn't get through the store. And people seem to like how the... Uh, the second claw machine, seasonal claw machine we put in. So we're gonna have these revisit throughout, um, you know, throughout the year. We're gonna have new seasons uh, and new events. So, you know, maybe we might do one for St. Patty's Day. We're gonna do them for the new map launches. We're gonna do them for all the really cool holidays. Um, and sometimes when there is no holiday, we might just do one that's, you know, for us. Uh, so this way you guys can get access to cool cosmetics and, you know, you can stay up to date. This is essentially what is replacing a lot of our crafting system. So we're pretty happy about it. And uh, we expect it to only get better from here on out. And, uh, you know, you won't have to do any task grinding. You know, we, we want you to just enjoy the game as it is and be able to unlock enough of it without having to, you know, bang your head against the wall and just repeat tasks over and over again. And uh, in addition to um, in addition to that, what we want to do is we actually want to say we want to actually give out a little bit of an apology. And I'll, I'll get into this and I'll explain it. But when we originally brought the regular token machines into the game, um, we did not uh, actually intend for people to be able to buy token packs. And we wanted to make it so that it was a slow burn. There's always something to collect and there's always something to earn out of the token machine. And the drop rates and the way they were categorized was actually put up in a way that was more conducive to just having people play the game naturally and acquiring the tokens over time. It was designed to last you the lifetime of the game. We were going to continually add new items in there. We were going to keep doing that uh, and have people, you know, being able to always go back and get something new once in a while. What ended up happening, though, was that there was a lot of pressure onto the team at Gaggle to actually sell token packs. And we decided that we would try it in select locations at first to see how it went. One of the things that we did not realize was how popular some of the cosmetics were. Uh, people were circumventing some of the caps, the daily caps on purchasing these things. 
and they were buying so much. So the support was like overwhelming. And when it turned into that, we were not ready for the, uh, the amount of, I guess the amount of support and also the economics, because it was designed to be a free mechanism, a free, a free to earn mechanism. We really weren't sure uh, how this was going to work. And we learned very quickly that introducing new cosmetics into these machines uh, where people have already limited or pulled a lot of them out wasn't fair. And people who spent more on the tokens were actually being penalized. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to go back and we have all the records of everybody who did buy uh, the tokens. We're actually going to go back and give them some cool gifts. We're going to describe that on our Steam. I don't want to go into too much detail. We're going to we're going to make it right. We're going to go back and make sure that they have been properly uh, awarded for supporting us in that that size. But what this also allows us to do by modifying how these claw, claw machines work, it allows us to move in the step of the, one step closer in the direction of being able to offer claw, uh, token and claw claw machine packages to our international community as well. And that means that you'll be able to buy them and speed it up. Again, we encourage you to play the game and you can earn most of the stuff out of there just by playing. Uh, however, if there's something that your your heart's set on, we uh, we will be publishing some of the you know some of the drop the the generic drop rates, and then you'll know exactly what you're getting into. And this will allow us to sell those token and claw packs all over. So we're one step closer. We're going to be able to get there very soon. We're really excited about that. And again, going back on it, people who that supported us in the past, um, we're going to make it right. We're actually we have your accounts. We already pulled them all out. We looked at everybody that supported us. We have some cool gifts for those people. Uh, we're going to make sure that they get more tokens so they'll be able to play the, the machine under the same terms that everybody else is. So, um, you know, a lot of people accuse us for just trying to make as much money as we can. And again, these were not designed to make money. These were actually mostly for free. And uh, when we started selling the token claw packs under popular demand, the economics kind of failed. Um, so we apologize. We listened to you. We heard your feedback. We're fixing it. Um, we're probably not going to be adding more items to these machines. We're going to bring new claw machines and seasonal tokens in uh, and new stuff to spend your gold and silver on. But uh, keep in mind, like this is a uh, this is an ever evolving process. It's going to get better. And anybody who was supportive in the past is going to be duly rewarded for it. So we do appreciate it. Thank you, guys. We the love we've received on it is like outstanding. We did not expect the support that you guys gave. It is absolutely incredible. And we want to make sure that we can now extend that opportunity to everybody who's playing around the world. So that's enough on claw machines. Let's move on. So what's going? What's up next? What's up next for Goose's Duck? Uh, we're gonna be upgrading uh, a lot of our services. So we're gonna be upgrading the voice and text chat. We're gonna be updating the, the friends list and the website so things are a little bit more accessible. Uh, the the current state of things, they're, they're good. Uh, we can we can always make things better. So we're gonna be working on that. So we heard your feedback regarding the friends list. We heard your feedback regarding the the text chat. So we're gonna be starting to implement those. Also on the docket, we have. UI updates. So we're going to be overhauling the whole UI again uh, because as the game grows, uh, more and more features uh, come into play. Therefore, we want to make every, sure everything's easily accessible to you guys. So we've been, again, so in our Discord, we've been listening to the feedback. We, we know that such things such as the map selection, you guys don't want to use the carousel anymore. We heard you. We're going to be at, making new ways to select maps. We're going to improve the overall layout. Uh, people really want eyes separated from the hats. We, that's why the hats are. That's why the eyes are designed the way they are right now. We do. We did have that in mind. So with this UI update, we'll be able to separate the eyes from the ha the hair pieces. So you'll be able to wear your love eyes with your fedora. I don't know. Uh, and for the first time, we're introducing four permanent pets. Brand new pets will be added to the shop as well. I think they're all really cute. I remember the octopus. We had a uh, community vote of uh, which uh, hat they would wear. So you guys voted on the crown so it's looking really cute and then uh for the next uh, the rest of 2023 we are planning on lots more maps we're planning on lots more roles so right now we are right now we're, our plan is to release three new maps this year perhaps four it's, it's a solid maybe on four depending on how the timelines work uh map one is in development uh, I would say it's what about 50 60 percent done already right it's like 60 percent done it, it's all concepted it's uh, the team is working very hard on it the team is very excited for this one uh, unfortunately for you guys we're gonna wait till next month to show you we, we're gonna yeah, we wait, gotta we're we gonna got a special treat coming up yeah 
we're just going to be a little bit more polished, a little bit of a bigger announcement. So you guys can look forward to a new map really and soon. The new map will also include a bunch of new roles and a, a really cool game mode that we're working on that is going to change the way we play social deduction, social deception. So it's going to it's going to be a a really brand new experience that you're going to get to enjoy. Um, hopefully we can bring back some of the the spark for our longtime players, that that new feeling. And, uh, you know, we're going to continue to do that throughout the year, like Chris said. We're, we're going to have map two, map three. And fingers crossed, if we can keep growing the team and we can get the pipeline sped up, um, with all your support that we've received, uh, you know, in, in November, December, January, all of that's going back into the game. Uh, you know, we're going to push as much as we can in terms of content. Uh, we have a lot on the roadmap. And this is just for maps. There's other stuff that's coming too. So uh, keep that in mind. Um, you know, we're going to we're gonna focus on more social activities and things you can do outside of playing Goose Goose Duck while you're still inside of Goose Goose Duck, if that makes sense. But yeah, lots to come. And with that, that's that we just want to say a huge thank you, you guys, because yeah, again, it's because you're all the community support, uh, what you guys do for us, we're able to keep continuing to grow the team, get all this stuff out to you guys, because we want to make a game that connects all the players together and make sure you guys all have fun while doing it. So that's that's it for in terms of updates. I gotta say that's it, but like it's a lot. But yeah, next month we'll have a lot more to show for, uh, for the upcoming map. We have a big surprise for you guys as well, so we're looking forward to that. If you guys want to enter the giveaway, SP point enter. If you guys have a question about anything we, we just talked about, SP point Q followed by the question. And which what would we like to start off with? We want to start off with the giveaway or let's do giveaway? let's do five minutes of Q and A. We have a few minutes. We'll do a few questions and then <clears throat> we'll try and clear as many as we can. Sorry, I'm just, my throat's a little dry. We'll clear as many as we can and then we'll uh, go on to the giveaway. We'll go really quick. Uh, Uh, okay, here, here's a good one. Um, so I'll bring this one up. Is how will someone who gets something special because of the, uh, their support for buying tokens know about it? Uh, it'll show up, they'll know they bought the tokens, it'll show up in their account. And we're gonna make a Steam announcement so that uh, you'll see what you're, you know, what you're gonna be getting. I got one. Uh, we be adding the Year of the Tiger cosmetic to the claw machines. So. Not all, not any, like, no limited time cosmetics are guaranteed to come back. Some will, some won't. Uh, again, if we were to introduce uh, new things to claw machines, they would become a whole new machine. Uh, nothing would be added to them or removed from them. They would just be, the machine would just be replaced as a whole. But no promises that cosmetics will return. Uh, here's one. Why... Or... Coming up, why does it take so many coins to use the vending machines? Um, the reason why it takes so many coins is, again, it's intended to be free. We want people to just play the game normally. And, uh, you know, if you play normally, you, you should be able to make some pulls on the vending machines every couple days. And those can actually start turning into other token drops for other vending machines. Um, but we want to make sure that there's enough content there on those on those five machines to last you quite a while while you're playing the game. Uh, but like I said, there's going to be other opportunities and there may be more vending machines in the future. So you'll have more opportunities to earn, you'll have more opportunities to spend them, and that's kind of the goal that we're going for. Um, we definitely don't want to make it too easy to get because we do want people to who have played the game a lot longer to have access to these, or if they want to pay their way to speed it up a little bit, they can. Uh, I just saw one in chat because it was something we recently addressed. Uh, how long uh, will the limited time cosmetics be in the yellow machine? So they are no longer limited time. They are now, the alien cosmetics are now permanently inside the yellow machine and the purple machine. So they, there's no plan to obtain those out. Uh, here's another one. Will, uh, Will items from previous, the, the limited time items, uh, show up in the claw machine? These claw machines, no. Uh, but future, uh, like like Chris alluded to, um, future events and future packs may include some limited time. We may choose to bring them back. We may not. It's, it really all depends on whether or not uh, you know we, we there's enough demand and uh, we feel that we want to do it or if we want to release something that we think is cool as well. So it's all about how much room there is for, for the release. And then there's this one. I think we should address it. And then we'll go, we'll do a couple more and then we'll go to the giveaway. So if you're in this, you have to be in here to get the giveaway. So 
Um, will the mummy on the sand map still be customized? The kill cooldown is too short, and you can only stop it with a bell or a player's report. We are actually analyzing that, and we are going to make modifications to some of the stuff as we move forward in updates. Uh, so, you, you know, your feedback is definitely valuable. We have, we have heard concerns about it. We do not want people to just rush to the bell. Uh, we want people to play it a little bit differently, so we are going to be making some modifications to some of the game balancing, but we always do this. Uh, I think this is something that if you stick around long enough, you'll know that the team here, we love to we love to take feedback, and then what we do is we look for what's going to create the best gaming experience, and I agree with you 100% that sometimes, depending on the play group, the mummy can feel a little strange, so we are going to be addressing some of that in the future. We haven't decided exactly how or you know when we're going to be able to do that but it will be uh, you know something we're definitely looking at uh i'm gonna do this one right here uh new twitch jobs besides uh, silver in the near future uh so i will say there is a lot of stuff on the community side that's in, currently in the works i uh, can't get too deep into it but we are thinking of more ways to reward the community for various things uh whether or not the the twitch shop formula will change we'll probably we'll probably be adding a couple things here and there Uh, will there be an option for pronouns? Maybe we'll put them alongside the name or in the meeting cards or under the name or something. We probably will put these on the the. Uh, we probably will put these on your player card if as an option. You you can probably choose to display these at some time in the future when we make upgrades to our chat system. Um, that'll come over time. So more we want to get it functional and fast first, and then we'll start adding some of these profile informations. We also want to be very sensitive to people's personal information and what they're willing to disclose. So we may restrict it to just friends. We haven't decided how that's going to work, but we, we do, uh, you know, we do definitely know that people want to be able to have this uh, and share it with the people they play with. And I think that's important. So it's something we're definitely going to be looking at. Uh, let's do two more, and then that's it. We'll do the draw. I think we've got a lot of people in here. All right. So, uh, Chris, uh, if you want to pick uh, pick one. Yep. Uh, will you be opening the beta applications anytime soon? Uh, some players are anxious to see that channel open. Uh, so, I, we know a lot of people are interested in becoming part of the beta testing program. Uh, beta testing applications open up uh, when the need, need arises. So, if uh, Dom and the rest of the QA team feel the need that we do need more testers, then we will be open up applications. But there's no, no set plan. Sounds good. And will we be, uh, where's this question here? The idea of a new hangout map with camping, fishing, and all that kind of stuff still up? Absolutely, that's coming. So didn't want to say it here, but it is coming. Uh, we definitely do want to do more hangout spaces. We have a lot of ideas for other things that you can do inside of the lounges and hangout spaces, not just uh, play Goose Who Stuck. We want to make it way more interactive and way more fun. As we grow the team, we're building up the resources and capacity to do this. Again, with all the love and support that we've received, we're able to do this now. So we're going to be putting a lot of focus and attention on a lot of these new features that are coming up. Uh, so right now, I know it seems a little slow. New map probably next month. Uh, I don't want to say for sure. We're going to shoot for early next month if we can. Uh, you know, we were, you'll, you'll probably start seeing stuff about it, you know, coming up in our Discord and on our socials. But uh, then it's going to start speeding up really quick. There's going to be tons of stuff nonstop. So we're pretty excited about that. Um, I uh, think that, does that sum it up? I mean, uh, you know, the giveaway's done. There was a couple other questions I just wanted to, if you want to stick around, we can answer some of the some of the questions. I think we've closed off the um questions but i just want to quickly touch base on them so uh shrike bird will the new maps have a uh where is this will the new maps have a pay to early access period like ancient sands probably not no uh we didn't like that it didn't really people were just waiting to play it so we figured if the content was ready why not just give it to people uh so we're probably going to come up with that uh, you know a different a different way of getting it out to people in the future um the lovers and hitman bodyguard can be in draft mode. Uh, we are looking at ways to add new roles and customization to draft mode in the near future. Uh, we are also contemplating a tournament mode. So that's going to be something interesting. We do have some uh, other updates that are coming, like an after game report. So you can always go back and check to see who was what role after the game's ended. And you won't have to worry about uh, any information that you may have missed. Um, the chance for larger lobbies in 16, probably not. Uh, just because people's connections are already struggling with 16 in the future. If we see that it, it uh, you know, we get better infrastructure and things can go higher, we will with voice chat. Uh, but right now it's capped at 16. Um, will it be possible for the game to be more accessible for those that are deaf or hard of hearing? Uh, you know what? That's actually a really good question. Um, we have looked at accessibility and it's something that we're going to try to do as our team grows and we have more resources. It's definitely something we want to do as a small studio, though. It's actually very technically challenging. 
but not impossible for us to try and make accommodations. So absolutely, we want to do that and make our game as accessible as possible in the future. Uh, will the eye cosmetics be worn at the same time as hair hats? Yes, we are planning on uh, separating those. Uh, are we thinking of doing a paper month? We are thinking of doing like a small club where you do get exclusive cosmetics every month. Um, and that's going to come with other benefits. So yes. And how often can we expect all retired cosmetics to be added to the claw machines? Uh, probably never. Uh, retired cosmetics won't be added to those specific claw machines in the future. We don't think that's a good idea anymore. Um, we're going to try and not do that. We're going to introduce new things. Um, a farm map be a good idea for new maps? I don't know. Maybe if somebody designed an idea, we could look at it. Um, I know I'm going to stab myself in the foot with this one because I'm colorblind, but there are going to be more colors coming out. Uh, <laughs> Chris, you want to take this one? 20 colors is enough. We're both colorblind too. So yeah, 20 <laughs> colors is enough. I think we're fine. Um, probably not for a long time unless we have to go over 16 players. We will not introduce new colors. Um, will there ever be a way to unlock the claw machines without buying gold? Unlikely. I think we're going to keep the unlocks the same way they are now. And uh, the are the regular tokens not seasonal a lot rarer? The drop rates have actually not been changed. What has been changed, though, is it's based on playtime as well. So there's a lot of factors that go into it. Um, it's a very complicated calculation that we've we've implemented, but the drop rates have not changed. Uh, will lovers and him and bodyguard on draft mode? We already answered that. Uh, any plans to turn the game into a movie someday? Um, yeah, I think so. I think if, if, if Amazon or Netflix wants to, if you're listening, uh, I think I, what, I Chris and I can do the voice. Yeah. yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, we should do it. I think we can do that. Um, let's see what else is, what is the next, what, what is the next v event be like? Um, that's for us to know and you to find out. Um, does Thor drink syrup by the gallon? No, it's too high in sugar and carbs. You won't. I'm trying to get in shape. I'm trying to work out. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, can you guys buff the bird watcher? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, will you be able to buy machine coins like the gold and silver ones in store? Or will we only be able to earn them in game? So I think we've answered that. That's pretty much everything. Um, yeah, I think we've gone through, uh, we've gone through most of, most of the questions. I know some are coming in, but we don't want to go too long. We're at the 30 minute mark and that's kind of where we want to, you know, draw the line. Uh, you're always welcome to ask those questions in our discord and provide feedback there. And we are watching and there's a lot more of us there to field those questions. Uh, and again, uh, we're around almost all the time. So please, uh, you know, we really encourage it. We'd love constructive feedback. We listen, we react very quick to important feedback. And if uh, somebody, if somebody definitely has, uh, you know, some great suggestions, please don't hide them, don't hoard them, share them with us in the Discord. Ideas that spark ideas, and that's what the Discord's all about. All right, so shall we head off? So thank you everybody for tuning in, uh, sticking around for the entire devlog. Uh, we'll be back for March's devlog, and again, we'll have some more details regarding the upcoming map. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Uh, we're gonna write out. We're gonna show some appreciation towards. Uh, Nikashu Ray, who is currently doing a community night with Goose's Duck, would like to go over there and and see what they're all about. So, let's head over there. Thank you guys so much for joining us, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys, appreciate you.